Hello friends! In my previous two videos we have checked and compared two transceivers Quanshang TGUV2 Plus and Quanshang UVR52. The first video was dedicated to TG device and in the second video I have compared the distances between two TG and two UV devices. The antennas and their radiation rates were also compared. But finally I would like to check the antennas with the help of more or less professional device which has finally come to me. I mean exactly this one. So we will check four antennas. The first antenna of a UV device, or the second antenna of the same device, the first antenna of TG device, and the second antenna of the same device. Let's check the calibration. And it should be here. And in case of 50 ohms, it should be in the center. Yes. Also, let's check the open. Yes, here. Now here we have the frequency range from 400 up to 480 megahertz. Let's check the TG antenna. Let's check SWR on the tested frequency 446 megahertz. Four point one, which is really terrible. But let's check it another way. So we would hold the transceiver this way. The graph changes and SWR amounts to approximately 4.5. The next TG antenna. At this frequency SWR amounts to approximately 3.3, but let's hold the device as if we hold a transceiver. Naturally everything changes and SWR increased up to 4.8. Now let's check the antenna of UV device. SWR now amounts to 2.9 and in this case it amounts to 1.9 and the second UV antenna SWR of this antenna amounts to 3.3 and in this case it amounts to 1.9. But also let's take into consideration the fact that in case my face is near the transceiver the coefficient considerably decreases, so even 1.5. So everything is not so terrible as without a human participation. Now let's measure the radiation rate of each antenna on this frequency and make final conclusions. We will use TG transceiver. New. Power output high, 446 megahertz. 5.2. Old three point five UVR fifty antenna seven or the second UVR fifty antenna seven. And also I would like to check both frequency ranges of both antennas. This is TG antenna U. Now the graph is terrible. It's much better. Let's see the first minimum. Two point two at the frequency of 147 megahertz, not so bad. 
And this is the second minimum at the frequency of 424 megahertz and it amounts to approximately 4.1 on the second antenna. Now we see more than one point here and here, but let's check the frequencies more precisely. The second minimum is at the frequency of 412 megahertz and the SWR amounts to 3.7. As to the first minimum, the frequency is 136 megahertz and the SWR amounts to 4.3. Let's check UV antennas. We see two points, but let's check them more precisely. The first point at the frequency of 143 MHz, SWR amounts to 1.5. And the second point, the frequency is 431 MHz, the SWR amounts to 2.1. And the second UV antenna, here also we see two points. But let's check them another way. Well, the frequency 458 MHz, SWR amounts to 2.0. Another neighbor point, 427 MHz, SWR amounts to 2.0 and even 1.9. As to the VHF range, Well, the frequency amounts to 151 megahertz, SWR amounts to 1.8. I must note that the only disadvantage of TGUV2 Plus is its antenna. In view of all the information of this video and previous two ones, in case you decide to get a TG transceiver, I would recommend to get the UV antennas together with it, as UV antennas are much better than TG ones. As to the distance test of the second video, both devices TG and UV were transmitting the signals with the help of UV antennas. So in case of transmitting of TG device with the help of TG antenna, we could have got much worse results. Hope this video and previous two ones were helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.